Hey everybody, today is November 7th and it has been about two weeks since my last update. Today the weather dropped to about 63 degrees. Uh, it's still nice and sunny but it's uh, a little bit cold for peppers. The plants are doing really well up to this point. It's still producing like crazy. It's even pushing out more and more pods. So I'll go around and show you what's going on and you'll be amazed at all of the pods that it's putting out. The pods are not going to make it because it's too late in the season. But uh, let me show you anyway what they look like. This first one here is the Bandama Jacques. It's still looking good. It's, it's pushing out even more pods. And of course the young pods are not going to make it. But it's just ridiculous how much these guys are producing the entire season. So that's the Bandama Jacques. And next here is this is my Bahamian goat. And this guy's going nuts too. Look at this all these pots here and I pointed out last time that it's even pushing out more and more pots check out all of these blooms here and all of them and some of them have turned into little young pots there and if you look around underneath the plant they're just everywhere it's ridiculous how much these guys are producing see that and, and all of these little buds there it's just so many of them <clears throat> look at this just ridiculous amount of pods on us a very small tree so this guy is a heavy producer Bahamian goat and look at that just everywhere you look there are pods and flowers and just nuts hundreds of them that's the Bahamian goat and here is the Reaper the Reaper is the same It's pushing out pods too uh, there's a tons of buds a few of the paws have ripened and I picked some and uh, there's still some left these that these don't look as pretty as my previous batch but uh, I, I can't complain they're okay so see that there it's just some weird looking pod from the Reaper and here's some other ones and they're just flowers everywhere I mean they're still pushing flowers even up to this point it's pretty cold now all right next is the red habanero I have two of these and they are potting up as well some of them are pretty nice size and look at this it's just ridiculous how many pods these guys are putting out some right here anytime you lift them up they have pods underneath or pods developing okay and here's the other one that one's turning and see there there's tons of them and then over here just everywhere some right here so it's just oh, look at that there's just so many of them uh, so I don't know if the camera is picking up everything but there's just ridiculous amount of pods on all of these plants okay and next is uh, my MOA scotch bonnet this guy's doing really well look at that the size of these pods are pretty nice some right there and underneath as, as you can see it on this one and the rest of them all of them are underneath just putting out like crazy See that? and then here's some larger pods here pretty good size so I'm gonna collect these for seeds and then uh, there's some right here pretty good size there and look at this big one it's ripening so they're everywhere see all right here is the white ghost and this guy is going nuts also look at all of these pods there see that lots and lots of them and they're still more forming and they're all excuse the wind is going crazy right now so a few days ago the wind blew a few of my plants over look at this see that ghost So the pretty much every plant is putting 
pushing out parts like crazy. Next is the seven part infinity. It has very, very cool looking flowers and pods. These guys are just now it's starting to push out pods. I mean, it's kind of late now, so it's very disappointing. But look, here's what they look like. Pretty cool looking pod. And see, underneath there are just tons of them. Alright. And then next is the other ghost, which is the white ghost. And potting like crazy. This one, very heavy producer. Look at that. So every time you lift them up, you see pods. Look at that. Everywhere. And just on a single branch, you can count like 20. I almost forgot about the chocolate scotch bonnet. And here it is in the middle of this whole pile. The plant is still producing like crazy. Check out all those nice size pods there. And the pods are just everywhere. So if you look underneath, there's sometimes chocolate, sometimes they're green. Check out all of those. And this plant is about almost five feet tall. Pods are everywhere. So let's look underneath. So there it is right there. Some in there. Look at this. And I harvested a bunch of these already, and there's still a ton left. These are very good sized pods. And here is my white devil's tail. Some of it is starting to turn. So it starts out with a, a green color like that, then it goes to a yellowish color, then eventually it becomes a whiter color, just almost like that. So that one's almost, almost ready to be picked. Okay, and then we're back to the Bon de Majac. And there is the other MOA Scotch Bonnet that I separated. They're also pushing out pods flowers everywhere. There's a ton of bees that I see flying around, pollinating. Here. Look at that. Alright, let's walk over to the other side. Here's the orange habanero. Let's go nuts. So many pods. Yeah. So they're blending in with the, the leaves, but See, anytime you lift it up, there are pods there. And look at this. Everywhere. Pretty good size. Look at that. And then next to it is. Let me show you the pecan first. The pecan's all ripening up. The very small tree. See all those little red dots? Those are all the red pods that need to be picked. Look at this. <laughs> A very tiny little plant, but crazy producer. Oh, see, some of them. A lot of them dropped. So that's about the size of them. Okay, and then my ghost. I'm not sure if you can see how many flowers this guy is putting out. It's just ridiculous. They're everywhere. See that? Look at all those flowers. Hundreds of them. And this guy as well. It's, a, it's really slow to push pods, but flowers. Ridiculous amount. Look at that. I hope you can see that. So some of them have, have turned into pods. Little ones. And then here is my Bahamian goat. I picked a bunch of pods off of this one last two weeks. And now it's putting back some more. There's some ripened one. 
Lots and lots of them. Look at that. Every two weeks, it pushes more but more pods out. But it's very late in the season now, so all of these young pods are probably not going to make it. And, yep, that's pretty much all for the update. Uh, I harvested the ahi habanero and cut everything off, so there's not much to show on that one. Here's a final look at the plants. It looked ridiculous. I mean, they, they're like four feet tall. Some of them are five. Very beautiful plants. All right, here's what we harvested today. Here's some chocolate scotch bonnets. Got a ton of them. Those are the little pecans. The MOA scotch bonnet. Very good size. Red habanero. And some smaller Bahamian goats. And these are the Bonda Majak. Very small. But overall, good harvest. The fresh pods. Oh, these are going to be really nice. The MOA Scotch Bonnets. Anyway, that's all for this update. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I may have a few more coming up uh, showing the end of the season and maybe overwintering some of this one or two but that's all for now thanks for watching